Hey guys, I'm back for another video. La. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I'm gonna talk about some stuff. This is a commentary video, and today I'm gonna be playing some Bed Wars. And today's topic is something that I feel a lot of you are gonna like because today I'm gonna talk about how to YouTube. It's something I know a little bit about, I would say. Just a bit. <laughs> so, and of course, I'm going to be doing the live Bed Wars thing the whole time. Oh, the map is very different. Okay, uh, Pernicus or Perner Peculius, I don't know how they pronounce this map, is completely different in the most recent version of Bed Wars. Um, well, with that aside, I'm going to start talking about YouTube stuff and how to succeed. So, I guess, first off, what you're going to want to do is you gotta practice speaking before you even have like a computer you need to practice speaking to like a camera or to like people like, you need to be i wouldn't say social because i am a very anti-social person in real life like i do not talk to a lot of people at all yet i can do this youtube thing like second nature so the trick is you gotta commentate gameplay i would say that'd be a good way to start so even if you're not even recording you just like act like you are recording and just be like Hey guys, hey, you don't have to use my intro, you could just be like, it's your boy, <laughs> and I'm back for another video, and you can commentate exactly what you're doing, you don't need to even make any jokes yet, you just talk about what's happening, and you act surprised when something surprise happens, you just like, over exaggerate everything, now I'm not saying that I over exaggerate everything, but it helps, just to like, to actually externalize how you feel on the inside so if you get super surprised instead of just like visually your eyes just going like in the back of your head just like for a millisecond being super scared or whatever you actually like Ooh! like yell or something and don't be too obnoxious of course because cringe is an easy way to drive people away hi okay nope please hit please hit please hit please hit no oh my god we have to pause this, because this guy already has an axe, are you? Alrighty then. Moving on. <laughs> oh, one thing I should mention, I'm actually in the next video right now, but seriously, I have a playlist for all the technicalities of starting YouTube, like OBS tutorials, recording tutorials, editing tutorials, highly would check it out, go and click. So as I was saying, uh, now that you've commentated at least a little bit, maybe to your brother or sister, or something in your household then it's time to actually get some equipment so if you want to make some youtube videos you don't need much you need a method of recording and you need a method of uploading editing and uploading so it depends what you do but let's say you're going with gaming because that's what you're watching if you're gaming then all you got to do is get either a nice gaming pc or an xbox with some recording features a playstation oh, whatever works for you and then get some way to record the game. If you're on PC, recording is super simple because there's OBS, which is what I'm using to record right now. Screen capture software. Some people use some people. Some people use Fraps. Other use DxTory, Bandicam. Haven't heard that one in a while, but somebody did say Bandicam a few weeks ago in casual conversation. I'm like that's still a thing. I would highly recommend OBS though. Uh, if you're Using PC, it'd be way easier to do everything. So I, I would just say get a, a nice PC. Um, maybe even a good gaming laptop. Okay. Um, as far as hardware is concerned with a laptop or a desktop, make sure if it's a laptop that it has dedicated graphics. Like a GTX 970 or above equivalent would be perfect for just about any gaming situation ever. Um, make sure it's at least a quad core processor um look for like 2.8 gigahertz or higher i would go for like maybe at least if it's anything below a 2.8 don't even bother with it like you need some cpu power to actually run the recording software and once you have that um of course more than four gigs of ram i would say maybe six or eight would be good Anyway, once you have all of your the stuff, the actual equipment, then you can record. You just do your thing. Uh, of course, make sure you have a good microphone. Don't need a standalone one like the Yeti, which is what I use. But you can just like, um, I mean, the built-in microphone on a laptop is like really pushing for like bad quality, but it's, I guess, something. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're not gonna get that. You're not keeping that armor. I'm sorry, buddy, but that's um. Okay, maybe you are keeping that armor. <laughs> so once you record something, um, with your microphone, whatever it is, there's some headsets out there that are pretty good, like the, uh, what was it, Turtle Beach X31s had some good quality back in the day. Um, I know it's a super old microphone, like, it's ancient. <laughs> I haven't used mine in years. It's been a very long time. But anyway, once you record your gameplay, you find a good microphone, PC, use OBS, record what you're doing, uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and then you can uh, edit it. So, as far as editing is concerned, stay away from super long and annoying intros. Um, for example, there's those cut and paste, like, 3D intros with the text that go flying around the screen with, like, with like some dubstep or whatever. Like, stay away from that. People know it's from a template, and it's just as gross and ugly, and uh, it makes the quality of the video worse. You're better off just going straight to the video with a nice intro. I would recommend something like an overlay. With my videos, I do an overlay. You see, like, this little 30 virus logo pop up on the screen, and it just kind of stays like that for a few seconds and goes away. Doesn't interrupt the video. I would say it's very nice. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I would say something like that would be a good thing for an intro most I mean sometimes you don't even need a really fancy intro You just do whatever like just get into the video get into the content super quickly So then that brings me to my second point uh, With like editing and whatnot. However, you put together the video. I would recommend that your call to action or not your call to action you're like what the video is all about happen uh, pretty soon. It's almost like some people how they tell you how to write a speech They almost tell you to let people know what's happening before it even happens So like I wouldn't say like so if you're doing an intro you're like, okay today I'm gonna play some bed wars talk about how to do YouTube stuff. My bed's about to die in two seconds But I guess that's fine. I have all this equipment anyways This person taking a very long time to break my bed. There it goes. But um, yeah So almost talk about what you're gonna do leaving a surprise isn't bad but if people don't know what they're watching, they might leave. And the other thing is you got to catch their attention the first, like, 10 seconds. Because, like, if you don't, then there's a very good chance they'll just leave. Because, I mean, apparent I'm not like this, but there's a lot of people that will just browse videos on their phone. They'll press on the... They'll click on the video or they'll tap on it. And then they'll just see what you have. And if they don't like it within, like, three seconds, they leave. Like, evidence of me watching my girlfriend on Instagram just, like swipe gone barely gives videos a chance at all it's really cruel out there but your best bet is just getting as many clicks out of those as possible it's okay if you don't get all of them uh, yeah hey <laughs> you were so confused just then can you take knockback please what is that defense what am i looking at right now oh my god Okay, <laughs> we're gonna need lots of TNT for that one. Uh, I don't know what I should do, honestly. That should be more than enough, though. Mm-hmm. Man, oh man. Hi. No thanks. I don't know what just happened out there. Um, somebody just fell off the edge. Okay. Let's take a quick break from telling people how to do YouTube and actually do some YouTube ash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have 16 T bud. Oh my god. That almost ended really badly. Hmm. No, 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 jump potion, save me. That knocked him off? Wow. <laughs> oh, I gave up. Okay, bye. So anyway, back to uh, the YouTubing. Oh my god. That was, that was some crazy crap that just happened. <laughs> Um, and I got two more potions. Oh, look at all these goodies. Oh boy. All right, let's get this. Um, oh my god. I can't even focus because of all this. The shinies is <laughs> ridiculous. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm not gonna need these anymore, so I might as well just rip. Yeah, all right, cool. So once you have a video put together that catches people's attention really quickly, it, um, it's got interesting content. Um, I guess there's another thing you should look at before you even think about what to upload. Make sure it's something that's like either popular or it's something you're really passionate about. Like it's okay to upload niche content because that stuff actually can get views from time to time. Like I have a video on defeating Quarry Junction in Fallout New Vegas. Such a specific subject that is like absolutely like dead in search results. Like there's nobody looking for that, but it's such a ridiculous idea that like any person that decides to actually click on it and if the content is what okay okay running 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 jesus if it's something that they find that people find very interesting then they will go ahead and actually watch it and enjoy it and give it watch time and anyone that's really into fallout new vegas would click it because it's something that they just can't comprehend bye <laughs> i do not think so tries to fireball me off the bridge. I don't think so. Nope, not this map. So that brings me to my second point. That video, uh, I love using that video as an example because it is moderately successful. It's not like the best video on my channel, but it's so obvious why the video is the way it is. It's very informative. So for example, it's thumbnail. I mean, I, I might as well overlay it on the screen. The thumbnail for that video and the title combined to make such an intriguing case for anyone that's ever played Fallout New Vegas. Defeating Quarry Junction at level one just sounds like crazy talk. And with that thumbnail, it sticks out in the list. And as a result, I'm actually gonna take advantage of some very new YouTube statistics. Um, there's this thing called click-through rate. It basically shows you how many impressions your videos made which means how many times it's been recommended on uh, other videos. And out of all those impressions, how many of those actually clicked? It does tell you these things, so it's very, very useful. So for that video, it's about a 10% click-through rate, which may sound bad, only one out of 10 watch or clicks a video. But if you look at a really bad video uh, that doesn't get any sort of interaction, uh, for example, right, it's average to have a 3% click-through rate. 3% is very average. Most videos have 3%. So with that in mind, having 10% click-through rate means that a video is very intriguing and more people will watch it. So you want to look for something like that, something crazy. Not even crazy, but something that's just either so useful or so interesting or eye-catching that people will click on it and get a super high click-through rate. So it's not even like you don't even want more, the most views in the beginning you want click through rate so for whatever sort of like subculture of youtube you are involving yourself in that's very important i'm still working on that to this day this if you can do that then you're in good shape so anyway click through rate and thumbnails is super important um try not to use all caps all the time that used to work back in the day but now that everyone does it it's like you need a title that's interesting as well um so if for other reasons not just because it's all caps because people actually start to look for lowercase titles as well no please you need to stop Would you look at that? Aqua's chasing gray. <laughs> this game's been going very well for me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that gray guy is dead. Which means Aqua guy probably has tons of loot. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, at least I'll get his bed. <laughs> oh, am I gonna get the ender chest stuff? Yes, I am. What did you have? It's probably eight. Oh, it's ten. 
Sick. Oh, look at the goodies I am bringing home today. Oh, man. That is enough stuff to raid a base right there. I don't need no tools. I got TNT and all three potions. Now that. Don't kill me yet. Oh, I will kill you now. There is no time. Um, so back to the, the YouTube argument. I'm trying to think of other things that would help make a great YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to network yourself, I guess. I didn't get a sword. I'm smart. <laughs> but yeah, network yourself. Have a Twitter account. Have an Instagram account. Um, I wouldn't really... I don't use Facebook much. I think the platform as a whole is starting to die out a bit. You definitely have something. Okay. Now, can I make this? This is a massive jump. No, he fireballed me! Oh my god. Did I just kill him? I think I just killed him. No, I didn't. Oh, wow. He had to throw that at the worst time. That was so dumb. Anyway. <laughs> my god. So, I guess another thing is to market... Not only... It's just to market yourself, I guess. Like, make sure to, like, collaborate with people. Um, to have be in, appear in other people's videos. Uh, every now and again. Make sure that they, like, discuss what you do on your channel. And why you should join. And you should do the same for them. Because that's only fair. You can't just, like, ask somebody to feature you in a video and not do anything in return. So, and you can just go for some... Oh. That's important. Unfortunate. <laughs> go for somebody of the same YouTube weight class as you, I would say. Someone that's like just as many subs. So, in the start, maybe get a friend. Have separate channels, make a competition out of it. Just do Let's Plays together and see who can grow their channel better and then learn off each other and all that. So, yeet. And once you've done that, you can of course, you can go up a little bit. Like, you can collaborate with people that are bigger than you, but not ridiculously big. I'm going to tell you from experience, anybody that I've seen, I check out pretty much every channel where someone says, can we collab, please? And they link their channel, like, in a Discord message or something. Which I would highly recommend you don't do that, unless you have a reason for it. If you're just some guy that just started a few weeks ago, and has, like, a few videos, and is, like, a squeaker, I'm sorry, but, like, being a squeaker really makes it hard <laughs> for me to recommend a channel. I'm sorry, I might be biased, but I feel like a lot of people feel the same way. I mean, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing to start a channel when you're young, but... I mean, it's it's gonna be that content... Okay, this guy just disconnected. It's gonna become that content that when your channel actually does start to succeed, you'll look back and cringe. That's like every YouTuber's experience, though. So, like... I guess starting when you're young isn't bad. Just go into it with the expectation that you're not going to be successful right away. And I guess starting young is good because it tells you, it teaches you how to like actually compete and stuff. But anyway, if some small channel like that actually like wants to collab with me, I'll say no because I have more worthwhile things to do with my time. Like I need to grow my channel. I have to look out for my channel. So if I do a video with someone that has like five subs, then what does that give me? I mean, sure, maybe there's some connection, some chemistry between me and the other person, but I don't know that right off the bat. So it makes that. Mm. <laughs> it makes a good case if you have a following already, <clears throat> or if you just shoot for someone of the same weight class on YouTube, same, similar amount of subs. Um, I guess another huge thing, actually is um a really good way to boost your channel is to do live streams so say you already have a hundred subs or something uh go and do a live stream and even better yet have a purpose for the live stream so for example if you're doing bed wars <clears throat> do like the no weapons challenge where you have to pump punch people off the edge and win the game that way or something like that do some like have some incentive i don't know <laughs> Do I really not have enough blocks to get home? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, this is so dumb. Well, um... Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so having a live stream with some purpose. Um, I do FTB live sometimes. 
There's not much purpose to it other than the fact that I'm just playing FTB. But I don't know. Live streams are a great way to start a channel up, I would say. Now, if you have no subs, that's not going to help you, really, because no one's going to watch. Which also gets to my point that there is such a thing as getting raided. You are not going to kill me. No, thank you. And if you get raided, that basically means that some person is ending their stream and they want to send their viewers somewhere because it actually benefits them. If you look at the YouTube algorithm, it actually like if you're if you refer people to other YouTube content, you get a bonus for it. So it's almost as if those views are yours. It's very good. But anyway, yeah, so people do that. They refer people to other streams. And if you just happen to be that stream. So if you make some streamer friends, you might be able to get. Um, oh my god, this guy. Yo, leave me alone. I'm trying to commentate here. Goodbye. <laughs> I feel like he's just going to keep doing that over and over again. But yeah, so live streaming, highly would recommend. Oh, and here, that's the other thing about just videos in general. You should be on a schedule. People should know when to expect an upload. Um, or a stream. So like for example, I do weekly streams. I do weekly FTB live um, Of course <laughs> That series the first season ended and I'm still trying to find a pack for the other series and I was also sick for like a week So I haven't been as predictable as I would like to be in the YouTube space Come on take hits, please. Bye. Bye <laughs> there we go. <laughs> did I even hit him? I don't think I hit him. I did hit him. This guy did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love speed. Anything else? Um, let's get some TNT. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> I think I've gotten everything out of the way. I, I'm thinking about all the other YouTube advice that I can give. Um, go on social media. Have a uploading schedule so people know when you're uploading. Be good at speaking. Have a lot of practice. Upload interesting or really niche content that for that specific group of people would be interesting. Um, oh, this is huge. Okay, a lot of people think that uploading daily is like the key to success on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you right now, that hurts you more than anything. So, like, of course not uploading at all is bad, obviously. But uploading too much, it makes it so people have the expectation that your channel is not delivering the highest quality content. Also, this guy's super dead. <laughs> but yeah, so make sure to only upload when you feel that the content is really good. Whether it's once a month, once a week, or maybe even, like ideally if you're doing gaming Let's Play stuff, I would suggest maybe two, three times a week. Um, maybe more, four times a week, maybe. But once you get multiple good ideas and everything's working out for you, then go ahead and do daily. But until you can figure out what content of yours works and what content doesn't, um, don't bother with daily. You just don't. Filler content is bad. That was it for that video, guys. If you guys liked it, make sure to click on the top right-hand corner. I talk about being sick, and it's also like the first video of me doing this series. It's a little meta because I recorded that like literally today. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Also, um... Having a fever and a cough is horrible for YouTube. And that's why I'm here today. Because it's the first day I'm not like that. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Click it. Go. Please. I need YouTube money.